Can you hear and see me okay? Yes, I can. Awesome. awesome. You are a beautiful girl. Thank you. Helene, did you have a question? No, I think we're good. Okay, perfect. Cool beans. Awesome. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hey, guys. Hey, Jamie girl. <laughs> hey, Zonique. Hey, how you doing? Great. How are you? I like your hair, girl. The switch up. I know this is dope. Yeah. Hello, Jazz. I was just eating. You missed it. I just had breakfast. I missed it, sir. Uh, are you guys it. on the West Coast? I am, yeah. Okay, girl, I haven't even had breakfast yet after this. Okay, <laughs> I was struggling. Still I, have I, a coffee yeah. here. All right, we're just waiting on the fellas. We're just, you know, that's how it always is, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jazz, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Can't complain. Been having a good day. Good to hear. Hi, Anton. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, dope. I love the painting in the back. That's super dope. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. And you all can hear me just fine. Am I loud enough? My coffee's kicking in, so I'm going to probably get louder throughout the, throughout the interview. <laughs> all right. We're just waiting on Mr. Miller, and then we are good to go. How y'all ladies doing today? Hey. How are you, Anton? I'm chill, actually. Uh, my mom was here for like a month and she left yesterday, so I'm kind of like missing her now. Aww. Yeah. That's, so that's dope. See, her, if my mom came to visit for a month, I'd be like, free time. So that's dope. <laughs> you a mama's boy? I'm a mama's boy all day. That's all dope. day. And see, like, when I wake up in the morning, she was making me shakes and she'd be cooking. Oh, see, now you got to cook for yourself again. I feel that. My damn self, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys, um, while I have you all here, before we get started, do you guys have any specific questions that you'd like me to add to my list that you want me to ask? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. All right, cool, cool. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Just on Romeo and then we're all set. All right. You can tell I literally, I literally just throw on a hoodie before. Uh, no. <laughs> like, no. I feel like I already threw this hoodie on. <laughs> no, nah, they know because we've been doing interviews. They know you, but I can't tell. So you're good. You're good. It's so <laughs> terrible. Like my co host, we looking good. <laughs> That's funny. You all look great. I'm she always be that. saying this, though. She always be looking fly. Yeah, right? oh, God, she always says that. Right. Yeah. Those are the main ones, right? You, you look good. You all look great. Oh, thank yeah. you. Okay. I'm gonna text yeah, Fran. Always not knowing how to get the link together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like me <laughs> and Jazz have been, right? you know, he. Yeah. <laughs> me oh. and Jazz are doing back to back interviews with him, and he always the last one. <laughs> you guys call him like the dad of the group? I know you're the baby, Jamie. But he's like the dad. I know, I was laughing when I watched the first episode. I'm like, is he a millennial? Because Romeo, Romeo, you know, he's he's out here. So I was like, he's a little older, but millennials are like in their 30s, right? So yeah, you know, Tip is actually considered a millennial. What? Yep. He's like right what? at that cutoff. cutoff. I want to say it's close to like 40. Oh, wow. Okay. See, I thought it was like 32. Okay. Uh -uh. Right. I want to say it's like 37, 38, somewhere okay. around here. All right. I didn't know that. Okay, perfect. It goes up to 38. 38? Yeah, 22 to 38. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Learn something new every day. <laughs> All right. They just asked me if everybody was on. I'm like, we're waiting on, waiting on the dad of the group. Almost. How was your guys' weekend? We'll make small talk and then we can just be friends by the time we start rolling. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was my weekend? My weekend was pretty nice. I've been doing a lot of moving around. Mm -hmm. I just shot a video, so that was. I'm glad I got that out the way. Yeah, congrats on that. That's dope. You're superwoman, girl. Right. You just shot yeah. a video. That's dope. I'm trying to be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you working until that baby comes out, man. Right, right. The baby's gonna come out working. We're <laughs> mm -hmm. gonna dance her right on out of there. Okay. Getting the checks. Mm -hmm slept all weekend. I'm sure you guys were productive. I was asleep 90% of the time. That, that's necessary. Sometimes you need sleep. That's definitely necessary. All I did was go to the gym. That's all I did. That's where, so are you in LA? Because the gyms, as far as I know, are closed here. 
So I'm in Houston. Okay. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Cool. I always do like six months in LA with my mom and then six months in Houston by myself. Those are like the two best cities to alternate. Because I, I didn't like New York. I mean, people usually throw New York in there and then they'll put Atlanta in there, but. Mm -hmm. You're like, you know, you know what you like. No, that's fair. Yeah, I think open in Houston. My best friend lives there and I'm jealous because at, at one point everything was opening here and then. And they close it right back down. Right back up. But we have the highest COVID cases though. I know, but I think we do now. If yeah, I'm not I think mistaken. California does. Yeah, because y'all were definitely, you. it was like a sprint. Like, y'all were number one, and then something changed, and now it's us. Well, now they fine you $250 if you don't wear a mask. So Ooh. I have to wear a mask. Yeah. Okay. Damn. And then places make you wear gloves, too. So. Okay. Yeah, I was on the beach the other day, and the police were, like, on foot, handing out tickets to people who didn't have masks on. Not obviously if you're in the water, but you know. Shit. How much were the tickets? Um, I I know that in LA, it's I think it's 200, but I heard that in Orange County, it's 400. Whoa. Like Huntington Beach, Laguna Beach, $400. That's and I bet the beach was packed too. It, it, I, like, I didn't go to like Venice or Santa Monica because those are always packed, but uh -huh. it was it was fairly packed. It was, it was a little. I went to Malibu and it was packed. Hack. Really? And I thought Malibu was like... And no one was wearing masks and the police didn't care. They were like on the beach too, just chilling. <laughs> wow. It was like, okay, cool. I, haven't, I just moved to LA recently. I haven't been to Malibu yet, so that's on my list. Oh, you gotta go to Malibu. You have to. Yeah, I heard it, like, I'm missing out, so... Mm -hmm. like, that's what said. Where'd you move from? <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota. Is but, black people from Minnesota? That's what everybody asks. Oh my goodness! Yes, there are. There's a good. There's a fair amount of us. You saw us showing out with the protests. There's a lot of us. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Rome. Romeo made it. Hey. All right. Hello. All right. Let me just change my view so I can see everybody. Perfect. Hi, Romeo. All right. He's muted. Uh oh. Okay, there I'm, we go. I'm, I'm, I'm there now. There you yes, go. you're good to go. You're good to go. Uh, Welcome. Can you, you? Can everybody hear and see me? Okay. Mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just want to get started. First of all, thank you all for having, um, for allowing Where's the Bus to interview you. I'm a big fan of all of you, so I'm very excited for this. I'm um, just getting into it. The mix premiered Tuesday, August 4th on Fox Soul, a new live channel that is by for the culture. All right, hosted by these five talented individuals. I have Anton Peoples. Jamie Wells, Jazz Anderson, Marcus Gray. Zoe. No, Romeo. No, I'm just using Marcus' phone. <laughs> oh, my God, I did not mean to say that. I'm sorry. You I'm sorry that I'm bad, y'all. I'm bad, y'all. I'm glad this is Zoom. He said, no, that's not my name. I know your name. I'm going to just start the intro over. All right. So, The Mix is a new show for the culture, by the culture, hosted by Zonique. Anton Peoples, Jamie DuBois, Jazz Anderson, and Romeo. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm super excited to get into this show. Very much a big fan of it. I like it a lot because, first of all, let's start with you, Zonique. It is produced by the one and only Miss Tamika Tiny Harris. Zonique, Mama how does it feel you. to be a part of a show, to host a show that is produced by your mom? Mm -hmm. It's really exciting. It's always exciting working with my mom. You know, she is a hell of a character. So <laughs> it's always <laughs> nice to work beside of her. She's always just so free with everything. And she's been really, you know, open to telling us how she feels. She's always jumping in on the topics with us as if she's a co-host. So it's always fun to be <laughs> working with her. And I can tell by everyone's smiles that y'all completely agree, right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's super dope. That's super dope. So you, do you feel comfortable? Like, do you like it a lot? Or sometimes are you, do you find yourself tiptoeing because your mom is always lurking? You know, yeah. oh. <laughs> I am a little comfortable talking to my mom. Like I go to my mom for a lot. So, you know, being 24 now with the topics, I'm not, it's not as bad. Like when we were doing auditions at first, I'm just like, okay, we have to talk about sex. Like it was her and my stepdad in the room. So I'm like, can one of y'all leave, you know, preferably pop, like he just about <laughs> for a minute. But you know, right in and there, <laughs> right, right in and there, I pretty much got as comfortable as I could with my mom being there. 
Okay, that's good to hear. Now, what I love about this show, like I mentioned before, and Fox Soul as a whole, is that it is for the culture. On top of that, we have millennials and we have Gen Z, and we're you guys keep it real. Nothing is off limits. I know you said that's like the motto for the show. Nothing is off limits. And this show is gumbo. You get a little bit of everything on the mix. Okay, I like I like that comparison. No, and you can tell. You can tell you guys have dynamic personalities. You speak, you say what's on your mind. Um, considering the climate we live in right now, right, where you can see everything on social media, there's a lot going on um, from politics to the injustices that people that look like all five of us are facing every day. What most excites you about this show during a time like this? What most excites me is that I feel like young people are the ones that are being affected by this the most. And we finally get a chance to say what's on our minds, to get a chance to say what's affecting our friends, our family, um, and just speak freely about it. You know what I mean? Nothing is censored. And especially being on Fox Soul, it's a network that's for us, by us. So we really yeah. get to speak freely on everything and anything. Yeah, I think it's really dope, like, with the mix. We're putting a lot of topics in the forefront that are affecting not only, you know, millennials and Gen Z, but older generations as well. But what I always say is, I feel like the older generations are like stuck in their ways. Mm -hmm. like, us to be the change, give insight, give information, so that, you know, things can really come together and we can actually have that change. So I think that's what people will see on the We're gonna be talking about everything. So you, you'll leave getting some type of advice and wisdom. Yes. Yeah, I think for me, I represent Gen Z because I'm, you know, the youngest. So I definitely hey. think like, for, yeah, for me, it's like representing the younger, not kids, but like just younger people and so much like we are educated enough to be in these conversations. And like Josh said, try to educate people who may be stuck in their ways and just freely give that facts, give information as much as we can. Wait, Shardy got her nails done over there during the pandemic. Damn. Ah, wow. All of them. Wow. I see. Hey, no, I see my hands are balled up in a fist. Shardy. I see how Gen Z do it, baby. Ah. I, I noticed that right away. I was like, let me put my hands down. <laughs> All right, I'll hide it. I promise. We'll, we won't have to talk about it. <laughs> I noticed immediately. As soon as you hopped on, I'm like, all right, note to self. Keep your hands out the frame. Cause my hands done. But so, wait, today she's speaking. Everything is like this and like this. Right, <laughs> right. It takes it up a notch. <laughs> no, it really does. It, 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 same thing, right, for sure. On. For sure. I don't blame you. That's funny. Um, so getting into it, I know you guys did do an interview um, with Extra TV, and I I love that right away off the bat. This is a new show. You guys are not holding anything back. You talked about who shot Meg and how black women need to be respected in the community. You talked about the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. Like you guys are just, like you said, Romeo, it's like gumbo. You guys are not holding anything back. Does yeah. that sometimes off camera, um, cause I can tell that y'all have a dynamic. Um, how do you guys go about having these conversations off camera? Is it just like, oh, we're filming, we're just gonna speak from the heart, or because you guys all have five completely different personalities and you're yeah. all very opinionated, do you have to kind of pre-plan? Well, let me tell you, it's, a, it's, it's different doing a show like this during a pandemic, right? Because everything is virtual, you know, it's through the computer or through the phone. So everything that will be off camera is on camera because that's the only way we can communicate. You know, we definitely social distancing, we not next to each other, you know, we are definitely playing our part to where um, it's an interesting way of doing this job, but um, everything is on camera. Like, mm -hmm. I love this show and I was excited about it because it's live. Like, yeah. it's rare to be able to do a live show with no editing, you know, yeah. a, a, a producer not chopping it up to make you be a certain voice when you're not that voice, when you do have a certain opinion. So I'm just excited for the world to, to hear these different perspectives, to see, you know, what us going at it sometimes but at the end of the day to realize what's the silver lining because we all have different views you know i could i tell everybody this is the view with two black dudes you know but um <laughs> this show is, <laughs> you know we all and we all have strong personalities so i'm just excited for the world to see this every tuesday you know and shout out to fox soul for taking that jump and believing in the younger generation on this type of platform absolutely and i love what you said because there's live TV, right? We've known there's been live TV since there's been television, but there's a difference between a live talk show and something like this that is truly live. You can't say cut 
and start over. Like you said, it's not getting chopped up or edited. So this is like real raw, uncut. And you can tell just from watching your episode last week on Tuesday that you guys have like a bond. It just sounds like five friends hanging out, talking, but you guys are educated and you know what you're talking about. Mm. So how yeah. is that bond um, when we don't see you guys here live on, on the mix? I'll let you I'll let you in <laughs> you know to be honest okay so we, we're just now getting to know each other um and so through this journey we've been able to kind of keep in touch with each other group chat yeah we had a group chat <laughs> that we kind of talk to each other with and run ideas about the show and just talk about anything um I think that's mostly right now because we can't really see each other like that because you know it's a pandemic and so, you know, we got to keep quarantined, but through the text and we say crazy stuff and it's, that's how we connect. And that's how we got that, like that bond, that friendship. We be, we be playing little games too, though. They be, we be playing little games where we find out little secrets about each other. And I think that's a cool way of getting to know each other too. But this is a real life journey and y'all are on this journey with us. Y'all get to grow with us. You know, you get to learn with us and we're going to educate each other uh, as well. Yeah. And I saw on your first episode that you guys did the secrets game and learned a little bit about each other. Oh, what a secret, huh? <laughs> so, and the hot sauce thing is what blew me. I was like, yeah, oh, same. Uh, me too. Yeah, it's yeah, got to be a typo. Who has okay, so, so like, you know, it's actually funny. So my sister told me, she was like, you know what? Don't even get upset. Don't even feel a certain way because I ain't never had hot sauce either. So I was like, oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. God. So it's a family thing. We're not going to get right. it. It ain't thing. a complete family thing because my mama was like, you ain't had no hot sauce? <laughs> 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 but my sister definitely, you know, she, she kind of understood the pain. She okay, was, so you're not alone. No. Two in a million. Know. Um, so just getting into you guys individually, because all of you are so dope and you have things going on outside of the show. I'm going to start with you, the baby, uh, Jamie. I just want to say, it is so dope to me that you are a ripe age of 18 doing what you love already. That is amazing. So I just want to ask for the viewers that are watching this, what's some advice that you would give to people that are out there trying to follow their dreams and trying to make it work, especially in the middle of a pandemic? Um, I would definitely say don't give up is like the biggest thing and take every opportunity that you can yeah. and talking to as many people as you can getting as many connections as you can because for me this kind of happened like by chance if that makes sense like it was just me kind of talking to the right people and it just kind of like fell in my lap and I was like oh wow this is amazing so I would definitely just say talk to as much people as you can and keep an open mind open heart and it will come to you. Yes, I love that. Now, Mr. Romeo Miller, for you, you have your hands in so many different projects. You're the host of one of my favorite shows, right? You've been in the game for 20 years, like you are a vet. Yeah. When the opportunity for this show came across, what made you make that move like, I have to be a part of this? You know, I feel this is uh, all God's work because my career, I started off in music, you know, being one of the biggest young rappers and then having the biggest TV show on Nickelodeon and then doing my hosting on MTV and from having all these brands. And um, I was really en route before the pandemic. I had three movies lined up. And that's, I was, if I was doing those movies, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would have been doing that and I wouldn't have been able to be here. So it shows that God always has a bigger purpose because my little brothers and sisters always say, bro, you gonna be like a host one day. The way you be talking to us in here, you be like Dr. Phil, Mr. <laughs> Jerry Springer, and Oprah Winfrey. Like they call me everything at the crib. But uh, when the opportunity, you know, permitted itself, it was just like, this is for the culture, this is for the people, and this is for our, our youth. And that's what my career is all about. It's about educating the next generation. And this is the place to do it. This is the platform. So I'm just excited to be able to share um, the knowledge that I know and that I have and that I've experienced it and to be able to do that with cool other hosts who experience a lot in this game and industry as well because usually um, you don't get hosts like this where it's like you've been on both sides right it's like imagine if the NBA player was the reporter too so it's like you get to see both sides and I think people finally get to see even our troops as well in a lot of these topics so um, for me God's timing is real. And then, you know, Tiny producing this, I was like, I can't say no to Tiny. Like, right. that's a big, like, Tiny producing it, I can't say no because she has a vision. 
you know, and uh, shout out to Jill King, our showrunner. Uh, she said she saw me back in the day when I was on The Real, and she was like, this kid need to be on a talk show. So everything been kind of manifesting. You know, you throw things out there, you never know where to come. Shout out to my agent, Nick Roses, too. But everybody had this, this vision. Yeah, everybody had this vision, and now we here. Right. I love that. You're so right. This is a time right now with everything that's going on in the world. Obviously, this is something we've never experienced before. And it's so easy to focus on the negative because life is different, right? So I love how positive you are and, and how you say, Thank you know, everything happens for a reason because it's true. It does. Now, for you, Anton, I know you are used to the big screen, right? This is, um, you have an acting background. Tell me what it's like kind of juggling the two, both acting and hosting. You know, it's crazy. I've always wanted to host. Like, even when I was a kid and I was taking acting classes and I knew that I wanted to be an actor when I grew up. But whenever I would watch different shows on like MTV or, you know, extra, I always be like, I could do that. That'd be fun to have my own group of people and host it. Um, it, it was a little challenging at first because I'm one of the co-creators of the show. So I was behind the scenes trying to put everything together. And then I was like, okay, so now I gotta be in front of the camera too. And I had auditions at the same time. And I'm on another show called Mr. Mom right now, uh, Voodoo. So it was, it was really challenging at first, but then like Romeo said, you know, when God has something for you and when you are destined for something, you just gotta walk into it. Yes, sir. And that's what I had to learn. I had to learn how to just walk into it and know that God doesn't give you any more than you can handle. And so I just said, you know, I got to make tweet that. We need to tweet that one right there. Hey, I can <laughs> give you any more than you can handle. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I got to shout out Nick Roses, too, because, you know, he's my agent as well. And he's a beast of an agent. So <laughs> yeah. I got the right team behind me. And so thankfully, with the right team, you could do anything. Anything's any possible with the right team. Man, anything is possible with the right that team. That is true. The team yeah. mindset, and you you guys have that. So it's perfect. It's perfect. No, um, now for you, Jazz, I know that you are a performer, a lyricist, an artist. What similarities do you see between performing and hosting? Um, so for performing and hosting, it's pretty much like you have to engage. You have to engage with whoever you're speaking to. You have to be personable. Um, and then first and foremost, you have to be relatable. You know, people like what they can relate um, whether it's your story or somebody else's story that you're telling. So those are definitely the similarities that, you know, I've seen so far. Um, and for me, just being in the reality TV world all my life, it was kind of like, I was happy to now do something where it's like, I don't have to worry about a storyline. I don't have to worry about alliances. I don't have to worry about editing. <laughs> I can just talk about conversation and it's just natural. It's flowing and it's authentic. So that was a, that was a big, you know, plus for me on the show with four other great people. It's all natural. Yeah, definitely. Very authentic, like you said. And last but not least, Ms. Zonique. Um, I know that you just made a huge announcement to the world. Um, you are expecting congratulations. Thanks. Now, with everything that's going on, we were talking, yeah, a round of applause, round of Ooh. applause. <laughs> 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 Everything that's gone on, I mentioned earlier, you're like superwoman. You, um, as well as all of these talented hosts, have a lot going on. For you, when the opportunity presented itself by your, your mom, I'm sure that's the, the first person you heard it from, what was going through your head? You know what? There was honestly a lot going through my head. I'm not really a um, vocal person. That's one. So I'm just like, you really want me to be on the show? That's like I was asking her. I'm like, are you sure like you got the right kid? Like, you know, like King or Damani? And she's like, no, like, I think you'll be good for this. So it was kind of like definitely a challenge for me. And then getting pregnant, I'm just like, oh, like, I'm going to be, like, really fat on there. So, I don't know. Like, for me, it was definitely a lot of thoughts that went into it. But more than anything, very excited to be, be a part of such a wonderful platform where we all can speak our truth and people can really get to know us individually and have people to relate to. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you five, but I truly, 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 truly feel like this is history in the making. I think that it's really, really dope that you guys started a live talk show in the middle of a pandemic. pandemic. Um, <laughs> like Romeo said, everything happens for a reason. And it's so easy to say like, you know, this is different. This is something new. But I think it's amazing right now if people are 
following the rules like they're supposed to, they're bored in the house bored. So what better plan <laughs> to right. start something yeah. where we're on our phones, we're on our computers, like we're on YouTube, we might, like it's perfect. But I do wanna ask you guys, because we hope, we all hope that outside will open back up eventually. So when the time does come, can you tell us at all what you have in store for the show? Ooh, we got a lot of surprises. I mean, as soon as it opens up, we actually can go into a studio. And so you're just gonna, and it's gonna heighten the experience of watching the mix. We're gonna have a lot more guests. We're gonna be able to have live performances and that's gonna change the game. Hopefully we can get Ron to perform. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a good little spin right there. Like the Kelly Clarkson show, she be performing on there, the host be performing. Exactly. Because we do got the music talent. Yep. Yes, you do. <laughs> You guys can start a group. It, it's truly, it's no limit. It's no limit to the mix. Ah, I like that. I like how you did. We see what you did there. We see what you did there. Yeah. Hey, tune into the BT No Limit Chronicles on Wednesday right. to the finale. That's all I got to say. Okay. Hey, Wednesday. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You know what's so funny, too, is that, like, now that we have come out with this show, we're already starting to hear of other networks and other people trying to duplicate what we've created. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's interesting. So obviously we're doing something really right, you know, for others to kind of jump on the bandwagon and create a platform. Real trailblazers. Exactly. Yeah. Real trailblazers out here. Yes, definitely. Ladies, do you have anything to add to that? I think the guys pretty much sound yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> they do that best, baby. Don't let, let them start talking, or it's you know they're gonna oh, say it. Bro, you know what? So They'll go back and forth all day, day if you let them. Swear. So, Romeo, before you joined us, we were joking because I know you guys said that Jamie's the baby of the group, like right off the bat, and we were saying how you're the dad, and everybody's dad can talk. Like, uh -huh. love talk. So, <laughs> I never. This is beautiful. I've never been the dad. I like that. I'm the dad, y'all. You know what's okay. funny? You know, like he doesn't really know uh, technology like that. Which dad don't know. He's definitely good at that. He really not is. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do not know that. Yeah, I'm terrible with technology. I am the grandpa. Hey, you made it here. You made it here. That's all that matters. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I also want to say to you guys because I'm um, being, you know, being in journalism and hosting myself. I want to commend you guys because it seems like the last couple of years we focused on like blogs and websites to get news and get information out. The last time we had a traditional talk show like this with a younger generation of people, I mean, was for the culture at that was years and years ago. So I love that you guys took this leap of faith and this, this step of courage to do something that really is different nowadays. Like you don't see live talk shows with young people nowadays. You see things on Instagram, you see things on different websites. So. Thank you all for creating a platform like this. Like we're, I'm super excited. I know that your fans are super excited. Um, so I just, I just want to thank all of you for sure, for all of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, awesome. so thank sweet. you for being excited about it. Of course, I'm geeks. I'm, I'm a big appreciate. Um, so tell us all like what you all have up and coming outside of the mix. I know that we talked a little bit about it, but we'll start with you, Mr. Romeo. Um. I don't sleep. I'll be doing a million and one things. And that was the thing with this show. Like, you got to let God just take that steering wheel sometimes. Because I was like, am I going to have enough time to do a talk show? You know, I got three movies that still, and as soon as I could film, I got to start production on those. You know, I have my Manyati shoe company. You know, uh, I got me and my pops in the food business now where we got our own rice. We got our own pancake mix. You know, oh, we got rice our, and pancakes? Man, we got everything. <laughs> we got um, we got um, we got hand sanitizer, you know, and then for me, my production company, Romeo Land Studios, where I already got five movies greenlit. So I just got to get all the scripts done as well. And and also this No Limit Chronicles has been a big deal for me just getting my dad's story out there, uh, having the top show on BET and and being able to show my dad rags to riches stories. It's truly been a pleasure for me and the icing on the cake uh, to be able to highlight his career, because I feel my dad is a true trailblazer, the blueprint, um, the reason why rappers are able to make hundreds of millions in real money, and to be able to show that story, that's been the best thing for me. So right now, No Limit Chronicles is on the top of my list. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. The finale is this Wednesday on BET. And then, yeah, just follow me on Instagram, too, if you want to know anything else. I'll be posting everything right there. So pretty much, you're saying you're getting all the checks. 
That's what I'm here for. I mean, you heard that. <laughs> Man, I didn't. I didn't even name. I got a few more things, but I don't want to bore y'all. We'll talk about that another time. Man. <laughs> um, um. Well, I guess I'll go. For me, I just been working on my music. Um. I, I plan to put out a project this year, but because of you know cor- Corona and quarantine, I've been I pushed it back to next year. Hopefully, things are a little changed. So I'm gonna be putting out some more singles this year. And I just filmed a video this weekend, so that'll be coming out honestly in the next few days. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff with my music coming out very soon. Awesome. Well, I'm just going to college. I'm not doing nearly <laughs> as much as they're doing. I'll just be attending college this year. Um, Girl, don't sound like that. That's amazing. Okay. Especially <laughs> Right. What's happening with that, by the way? Are you are you allowed to like go on campus or? No, not at all. Uh, it's and all your, online. Your college experience is online? Yeah, yeah, just like we're doing this. This is my college experience mm-hmm. right here. Wow. So don't downplay that because that's a, I, I, I couldn't do online college. Right. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. We be, you, You're going to do it. You're a USC Trojan now. Hey. Yes, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> right on. <laughs> How about uh, you, Vincent? Oh. How do you go? You go ahead, Oh, okay. Um, well, hopefully we'll be filming season two of Mr. Mom. Hopefully this year. I really don't know, you know, with all the studios being closed and everything. But on top of that, I want to keep this creator hat on, this producer hat. My sister and I are creating um, a show that's loosely based around our lives. And kind of, well, she was at Juilliard in New York. She's an actress as well. So I went to live with her in New York City. And then, you know, we just try to find ourselves through, through art, through love, through sex. So we're creating that right now. So hopefully you're going to be seeing that soon. And then uh, I'm also getting to the studio because I sing as well. So I'm like getting back into music. Oh, okay. I'm learning so much about everyone right now. I love it. <laughs> <Right>. oh, me too. <laughs> I didn't know any of this. Yeah. As for me, um, you know, I tried BT Cypher last year. A lot of people wanted new music from me. Um, But then quarantine happened and it was just kind of like put me in a a little slump. Um, So now I'm getting back into the releasing, you know, singles. But honestly, right now, my main focus is the mix. Fox every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. That's what you're saying. Very good. Very good. (laughs) Now, where where did Romeo go? Romeo. (laughs) Okay, I was nervous. Like, wait, wait, wait. That's the dad, yo. (laughs) You figured it out. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys are a great bunch of talented, dope, young individuals. You're going to do big things. I'm very excited for where this show is about to go. It's going to skyrocket. Like Anton already said, you see that the blueprint is already trying to be duplicated, but it can't be duplicated. Uh, right. Period, like Jazz said. Period. So, um, I'm very excited for the show. Um, for those of you who are watching, again, the show is every Tuesday on Fox Soul at 7 p.m. PST. Thank you all so, so much. Um, I really appreciate you all for the interview, and I look forward to hearing from you all again. Thank you. Thank Bless you. you. Thank you for having us. Of course. Bye. Right. Grandpa Bye. out. Where is the bus? Where is the bus? You said it was mine.